So it's not a female, it's little Tumba that's coming past. My absolute favorite little individual. So there he comes, just walking past us, and he's walking straight towards where Hosanna is. He's not far now. He's maybe 200 meters from where Hosanna is. So we're going to see how this plays out. But there he goes past me. And he's being a bit shy because baboons are ba barking at him. So the baboons have seen him and are giving him a little bit of trouble. So I'm just going to try and reverse and get a better position. And you'll notice that all my lights are off. It's because I was trying to just stop the baboons from seeing him and giving him a hard time and that's why I just turned my lights off because baboons can be quite dangerous to a young leopard and so we don't want to give him too much of a problem but he's still mobile so let's just try and see if I can quickly shift now that he's past the baboons I can put my light on no problem and it's okay there he goes into the road again Tumba you're looking big my boy now it's going to be interesting because what's going to happen now is he's going to join well, walk into Hosanna, and it's going to be interesting to see who's bigger. He's definitely, I don't think, as big as Hosanna. Like, now that I've seen Hosanna a few minutes ago and now Tumba, I don't think he's quite as bulky yet. But interesting how it's going to work out, because obviously this is the age-old discussion as to who is bigger at the moment. Tumba or Hosanna? But how's this? The two, I suppose, princes, you could call them. One is Prince from Karula, and the, or Little Chief, and the other one is... Well, Prince from Karula's lineage, so the two of them are both here. This is just the most ridiculous thing, and you can see Tumba's walking fast. I think he heard those Impala's alarm calling earlier and has rushed into this area. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave little Tumba here, and I'm going to go position myself where Hosanna is, and we're going to watch Tumba come past into this area. So there goes Tumba down my right-hand side, and I want to quickly go and have a look. Now, there's a diker between... Tumba and Hosanna now, so one vehicle is going to follow Tumba. I'm going to follow, it's going to sit back with Hosanna and we're going to see who goes where and what actually happens. But it should be quite promising for an interesting interaction. I have a funny feeling both are going to run. So I think Hosanna is going to run south, Tumba is going to run north, and we're going to have that situation. That's what I think anyway. Whether that comes to fruition is anyone's guess at this stage. But I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think these two are going to battle with each other or they're going to surprise us and the two of them are going to come together. Patty, who do you think Hosanna is going to want to play? Well, his head's up now, which is more than what was happening earlier. Earlier, he was completely down and sleeping. So I reckon I'm not sure if he's going to want to play with Tumba. Maybe if he sees a small diminutive leopard, he might think Shongile or a female and be interested and move towards her but I have a funny feeling when they see each other both of them are going to be a little bit kind of whoopsie what is this and maybe move off so we're back with Hosanna now which is quite nice here we go there we is that okay Seb yeah. perfect so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here with the two of them and if we need to extend a little bit we will. We're not going to just leave the two of them, but we definitely will watch what plays out. I can see where Tumba is. He's on my other side here. He's still slowly making his way in this general vicinity. He hasn't quite made it just yet, but he is on his way to this area. So we'll just watch very carefully. Look how he's sniffing the air. How beautiful is that? You are very pretty, old Hosanna. Wow. Ah, oh, Laura Moore, you say, what a photogenic poser. Now, you can see Tumba is actually coming. It's not easy from where Seb is now, but I can just see him coming in the light. And I think Hosanna has seen him now as well. So Hosanna has now definitely picked him up and is watching very carefully as to what's going on. And he's just making sure that he checks what's happening. Interesting because there comes Tumba. You can see him just in the distance, a silhouette walking. Here comes Osana. Osana's coming down towards Tumba. There we go. Look. So he's heading right in that direction. Now these two are about to meet. I don't think Tumba has any idea Osana is here. Now I'm going to just try and. There's Tumba. So let's see. Osana is definitely. On his way and watching who this is he's checking it out so you can see him Seb I'm gonna give you a little bit of light 
poor Tumba just wants to come and have a drink. He's so thirsty. And there, look, there goes Hosanna slinking along. Okay, Seb, let's get back there quickly. Because I think what we're going to find is that Tumba's about to get a nasty little surprise. So I'm just trying to reverse without being able to actually see too much. of you are excited this is absolutely crazy to see these two leopards together is just ridiculous so I'm gonna quickly try and get to Tumba as fast as I can because I don't think Tumba's seen Osana yet so let's quickly get round sorry Seb if I'm bouncing you around from Sammy Jane, you say, oh my gosh, your nerves. But there, look, you see, Tumba is drinking, Hosanna watching him. So they both haven't seen each other. Well, Hosanna's definitely seen Tumba, but Tumba hasn't seen Hosanna yet, or has he? Because he's in a low cowering position. Look, he has seen Hosanna now. So he's in a low cowering position. Hosanna is stalking towards Tumba. So Tumba's just watching. This is crazy. Where is Tumba? Right here. Yeah, like, I don't have light on him. So there. <laughs> you can see he's right in the middle of your frame. <laughs> so you can see Seb's just battling a little bit because the IR. But there's Hosanna, and look at this. He's drinking, not at all perturbed. Hosanna in front is now sitting and just watching. He's not worried either. How ridiculous is this? This is absolutely insane. I don't think they either, either of them know what to do with each other. How mad is this, guys? We have been so spoiled with the leopard interaction the last few weeks. Except it's always with you. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what it is about you, but you bring on the leopard spoilings that we get. But this is absolutely crazy. Angeline, you say your heart is beating so fast right now. Well, I know it is amazing, but there's not aggression from either one yet. And it seems as though they've seen each other. Although I don't know about Tumba. He's drinking so much that I don't know if he's actually noticed that Hosan is so close to where he is. But we are in prime position to see what's going on. This is just amazing. There's Hosanna watching. You see, he's not really sure what to do i think he knows that this isn't shongile it isn't tandi so i think he's kind of just checking out to think to himself well who is this person that's drinking and it's quite amazing to see so now what are you going to do Tim, you say just like old buddies well i don't know so much i think hosana is trying to work out what's going on and trying to see who this actually is whether it's a female or a young male Tumba is just playing it cool and just drinking because he's probably so hot and thirsty that he just wants to find some semblance of hydration and well they're at a happy medium for now I don't know if Hosanna's going to come bounding in and chase him but for now it's all pretty static and there comes Hosanna now he's coming closer look so he's just drifting in here a little bit See how he's gone into a bit more of a stalk pose. Now, Tumba's seen him and just carried on drinking. He's not in any way perturbed whatsoever. So he's not getting scared of Hosanna's movements, which I thought he might. It's really weird. I would have thought that Tumba would have been a lot more circumspect. George, you're confused that there's no vocal cords. Well, the thing is, or calls, should I say. Well, the thing is with the George is that both these leopards are young, so they don't want to attract too much attention in case the other one is a lot more big, well, a lot bigger or more dominant. So it's more a situation that they're actually just kind of sizing one another up. So it's, there we go. Look, Tumba is just watching now. So I know what are you going to do? Hosanna's in a sort of more of a crouch pose. Tumba's sitting. No growling. I would have thought there would have been a little bit of chuffing at least. And Tumba's coming closer. Is he sniffing? This is craziness. He's, uh, Hosanna's chuffing. 
So Hassan is chuffing. He's not sure. Tumba's being far more bold. Look at this. This is ridiculous. A little growl from Hassan. And look how close they are. How amazing is this? This is ridiculous. What are you two doing? See, Hosanna's not sure. There comes Tumba closer. Are they going to join together? No, look. There we go. Hosanna's now displaying and saying, no, 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 that's close enough now. You stop there. But there is the two young men of this area. And you can see, even though Tumba is six months younger, there is not too much of a size difference. That's an... Look, wait, he's getting closer. Look, look at this. They are within a meter of each other. How is that? That is crazy. <laughs> No, that is absolutely ridiculous. I don't believe it. I would have thought they would have gotten so much sort of more aggressive with one another. I can't actually believe how close. Listen, now they're going to sniff each other. No, this is absolutely amazing. This is craziness. I can't actually believe this. There is a little bit of growling going on. You can see they are salivating. Tumba into a more submissive pattern. No, this is ridiculous, guys. We are being, we are witnessing something very, very, very unique. This is not something we're gonna see every day and certainly something that is not common at all. Two young male leopards squaring off, and this might be the first time that these two have actually squared off like this. This is crazy. This is a madness, madness, madness. I think both of them are a little bit scared to go after each other. But look at, look at the aggressiveness of Tumba. So, our Lara Moa, you say Hosan is not pleased, look at that drooling. Well, Tumba's drooling too, so it's not just Hosan at this stage. Both of them are drooling quite heavily, so there is definitely a lot of drooling taking place, that's for sure. So, it's an interesting sighting in that neither one is really being too aggressive, but neither one is being too submissive either so the drooling is part of the fact that they're not happy with one another there goes Tumba he's gonna try and sort of get out of there but wow this is ridiculous so drive would normally be finished now guys but we are going to extend we're going to carry on because this is just absolutely phenomenal and not something we're going to witness every single day so we're going to keep up with them for a while longer and just see what happens look at how Tumba's rolling he's trying to display to Hosanna um, not a threat leave me alone don't fight with me and this is how he does it whereas you can see Hosanna has got the much more brave sort of posture he's up he's checking out Tumba look look now they're both lying down both of them are almost in a submissive role now That's craziness, guys. Look at this. For those of you who thought that even these young males would be playful with one another, you can see is a bit of aggression. But I wonder, once the aggression goes and they kind of see each other for a bit, whether or not they're going to just start resting. Because you can see Osana looks around a little bit. Tumba's looking around. There's Tumba trying to just slink off and around. Sorry, sorry, Thank Seb. You. There goes Tumba. Tumba's decided I'm out of here. He's not going to carry on. Hosanna's just watching and just chuffing a little bit. Well done, boys. It's good that you don't fight. You have to stand up for each other, but don't fight with one another. This is just the most insane thing. Scott, you say friends. I don't know if friends is a, what I would call this. They, you can see there's fire in Hosanna's eyes and so is there in Tumba's. Both of them are not chuffed that they've run into each other, but at the end of the day, they've both done what they needed to do. Both were avoided conflicts, but Hosanna looks like he might go after Tumba. There we go. You see, he's following, sniffing now where Tumba was lying, and there goes Hosanna. He's following in behind Tumba now. 
I wonder if this is not going to go on all night where they're going to just follow each other around. Interesting. Where's Tumba gone? So he's going to where Tumba drank. I think Tumba's right behind me now. We're stuck in the middle of this at the moment. I'm going to move quickly, Seb. Is Tumba behind us? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got. Okay, so Seb's got them. I was just worried about the mast. So, here we go, Seb. So we just need a bit of light because we actually didn't have our IR on. So I do apologize about the shadows of the mast. So that's Tumbo on the right. You can see he's growling and hissing with those big eyes. All right, boys, enough is enough now. Let it go. You see, Tumba's trying to just move away slowly. He's trying to back away and Hassan is pressing home the advantage. This is just ridiculous. Now we had this sighting with Shungila and Tandi the other day. Now to have this is just insane. What is going on in the leopard world? Seb, I'm gonna just turn quickly because we've got the shadows and I can't okay. see nicely what's going on while they just sitting. How close are they? It's fine. Let's run quickly. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Hosanna will follow him though. Hosanna is going to not stay away from where Tumba is. Now to throw into this is also baboons around as well. I can hear them shouting at these two leopards. So there Tumba is just sitting down watching. You can see Hosanna drooling, salivating, which is very typical of a male le or any leopard that's upset and has seen a individual come into his territory and there's just looking around checking but Tumba hasn't run off Tumba's just moved off slightly and is just watching Hosanna I wonder if these two are not going to be together still tomorrow morning it would be amazing if they are and if this growling and carrying on gets on too long I wouldn't be surprised Tandi arrives and then it will be interesting because Tandi will defend her cub with absolute fierceness she'll t chase Hosanna away and not because she wants to it's just that she wants to defend her cub she doesn't want to let her cub get hurt and so she'll even brave up to a male leopard in that case and even the likes of Tingana if this was the same situation with Tingana she would have come running in if she finds the situation to try and get rid of the threat It seems as though we've reached a little stalemate now. Tumba's no longer growling, Hassan is no longer growling. So we're in a situation where both leopards seem to be a little bit more chilled with what's going on. They're watching each other, but they're a lot more chilled. You can hear that in the background there is the baboon's alarm calling. But this is crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. Just checking around. There we no other leopard that's arriving in case I, there was a bit of another one arriving with the baboon shouting because I'm not sure the baboons can see them from here. I wonder if Tundi's not on her way this side as well. But I believe a lot of you are just as I am, almost speechless as to what to say. I, like I said, we had this crazy interaction with Tundi and Shungile a while ago and now we've got this interaction with these two I don't really know what to make of all of this it's just been a crazy few weeks of leopard interaction and it's because it's dry so the leopards are all coming in and it just shows you the void that a female leopard can can leave because we've got the void left by Karula which has allowed Tundi to come in and this is why we're getting these two boys fighting with one another so I know you better hope Tandy doesn't arrive here because she's not going to take kindly to you being around. But we're going to, unfortunately, 
stop for now and it's going to finish the show while there's a hiatus in the activity i will sit here for a little bit longer and just see what happens and just in case anything goes crazy but i think we'll find a situation where these two are not going to really fight too much they're going to try and avoid it as much as possible and so tomorrow morning we'll head straight into this area i don't know if we're going to do bushwalk if these two are still around because it'll be just crazy to come and follow up and see if they're around and if tundi is joined but from Seb and myself and Jamie and Brent in the Mara. It's been an absolutely incredible afternoon. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the Sunrise Safari.